So we're working on hairstyles. And so what I like to do is kind of just drop some concepts down and then pound out some shapes, just some generic shapes. I don't have to have it figured out. So here we go. And with this one, the client uh, wanted some more options with hair. Cool, no problem. So I just shape, do a basic shape up, um, not worrying about the details, just kind of getting a good look. Once I figure that out, you know, throw down a couple other styles. So I'm taking this back to the 80s, a little bit of kitty, kid and play, play, Bobby Brown, kidder and play, kid and play, Bobby Brown, and some of my favorite haircuts when I was a kid. Here we go. And then we'll do classic braids. Just kind of whip it out really quick. Uh, cheat a little bit. Obviously the skull wouldn't show but that much, but that's okay. We're doing art, so we can do whatever we want to do as long as it's <clears throat> as long as it makes sense. There we go. Alright, and so this will be the braid concept, and then we got the mohawk. And so here are the things I'm looking for. Highlight areas where the light bounces off the skin. Right? And the blend in between different portions of the hair. Same thing over here. And there we go. So I'll put the highlights on the end. And then within the hair, I'm looking for curls and a nice smooth transition into the skin. Um, those are the things I'm looking, I'm looking for now. <clears throat> we're ready. I have a style we're going to build off of so we can get started. We'll get started. And so I get a lot of IMs asking me how I do hair. Uh, so here's how. So we'll take this haircut. This is one of the ones I like the most. And just kind of frame it out. Let's figure out, clean that up, figure out where the, the head turns and kind of goes back to the other side. And I'm going to select a little bit of the color from the skin. So I already figured the skin out and the texture out. And then let's make a new layer. And I keep my concepts right there so I can, if I, if I see something I like, I can double down and try it on another concept so I can give this to the client to get approvals. So the shape dynamic I'm going to turn on. I don't want it to be too crazy, just enough. Give me a little bit of a rough brush. So any brush you use with texture will work. And then we're going to just turn down the opacity anywhere between 20 and 60, just depending. And just going to start slightly bringing in the brown. So I think about it just like I do when I cut hair. If I cut my hair or if I go to the barber shop and let them cut my hair, you know, I talk to the barber, how do you get this cut? What do you do? And it's, you know, pretty much the same technique. I'm just doing it as an artist. So I'm going to get a nice blend from zero to 100, bring a little bit of the skin into the top. And then let's grab a brown again, a little bit right here and clean up the skin. Give me a nice crisp edge, just like a haircut. Then just erase, there we go. And now I have to give a better blend in between. And this is pretty simple. Come down, it's a little too dark here at the end. So let's climb up the ladder in color just a little bit and then start to blend that up. So, you can see we're already creating a fade. We're already getting there. Um, bring a little more brown into the top. That little line is a little too harsh. Not too much. I, can, I want to leave a little bit so you can see it. Unless I was doing a ball fade where I see complete skin, then transition. So you can see where the, the original black was right there. So I do and just kind of clean this edge up here. Take a look at it. Oh, I'm pretty happy with the blend. I'm pretty happy with the transition. So let's zoom back in. There we go. Put this where I need it to be. And I'm going to want to bring some color into the edges of the hair at some point. So let's do just some strays just to break it up so it's not too clean and crisp. Just little bit of a breakup, not too much. Got a little carried away at the bottom, I'll have to clean that up. But just letting a little bit of the light show through. There we go. Perfect. 
and grab some color again and bring a little bit down in this area here give it a little so this is where the skin is showing so I want to give a little bounce light just a little bit kind of keep it up crisp and clean bring a little bit of that light transfer that all the way throughout the body or the head in this case and a larger brush and give a smoother transition so and I use the same brush pretty much the whole time so I'm going to make a made an adjustment of the layer and just erasing and cleaning up underneath come over here those jagged edges Kid's cool, he's got a toothpick. Do you have toothpicks? Only cool kids do stuff like that. Alright, so let's put in stretch this out some. Turn my opacity up so I can paint quickly. And bring his eyelashes out just a little bit. Not too much. I don't want to give him cat, cat eyes. It's not a girl. Let's figure out what we're going to do with the eyebrows here. So let's go ahead and bring that color down and we'll take care of these eyebrows, make them a little darker. They're too light right now. So, and I like to use new layers when I'm not sure, just in case. Instead of painting directly on my um, art, I'll just drop a layer down and kind of figure it out. And that's looking good. And I like the darker. The darker, just give a couple strays. Once again, gives it a little more personality. And even though this is a concept they're going to send over for approval, I still want my uh, client to really like my, my character. Feel like he relates to the story or he relates to the client. There we go. Mm -hmm. Those, those strayaways, flyaways again. That's good. I like that form. I think I'll leave that color here. So let's go out and bring a little brown. I'm going to bring a little bit of brown to the edge of the high top. And give them, give them some curls. And make it so crisp. There we go. And let's clean up this part on the edge make it a little tighter. The next concept, I think I'll give them a step, you know, where it comes down. His hair comes down even lower. I like that on one side. The old Bobby Brown cut. If you don't know who Bobby Brown is, you should Google him. The guy's an American icon. He's an American treasure. <laughs> Probably not, but... Alright, so I merged that together. I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to make another layer. And this time I'm going to attach it to the layer by holding Alt and clicking. So, I want to bring some color in, so... Um, your hair starts to turn brown as the summer goes, um, and we used to dye our high top fades. Uh, so I want to bring that little bit into my design, because that's just something that's cool, and it's going to make better, it was, it help, help me with my character, it's going to make my character uh, relate better. So I bring that brown in, and initially I feel like that brown is dead, but we'll fix it later, I just want to get it, let's put it down, boom, there we go. And that's really intense. So uh, I think about one rapper, his name was Kwame. He used to have a high top fade and he used to dye it blonde at the top. But this is a little much, so I'm just gonna do a Gaussian blur in my filters, make it nice and soft. And just kinda clean up right in the middle of it so my part still comes through because it's deeper and everything else. And let's hop back over to our layers and make another layer let's bring it down it's a little darker because i feel like the first version was a little too intense so we'll go back to our texture brush get that under control make it bigger and just to break up the white or the highlights take it down some that's uh, okay but i don't necessarily love it let me take my flow down also, so it won't be so intense. There we go. Go a couple times and build up. So now this is how I create texture for my hair. So it's not just a shape of brown. Now, I don't love that yellow, so we gotta do something about that. We gotta fix that. Let's see, clean up again. 
you know, I'm dropping a little paint inside on the skin. And for a concept, I'm doing, you know, a lot of cleaning, but that's okay. I, you know, it's just in me. Um, so I don't mind doing it so much. I merge those two layers together. And let's, let's go for a different, a more, um, less pale color, more intensity. Bring it down. That orange red is much better, much better. So you can see it goes from being dead to alive in color just by making that little adjustment. And I'm really happy with it. Okay, and so those are my hair techniques. So everyone's always asking, hey, man, how do you do the hair? Well, this is how. Um, I can add a little more time and a little more energy, but overall, this is how we do it. All right, thanks for checking me out. I'll be back with more.